All right, so uh, this is uh, Thursday, and uh, so I dropped the tire off over at Mr. The Tire for the mower, and uh, I got it mounted. So what I'm showing you, this may look all greasy, uh, and it is, but this is how I learned how to pack bearings, and uh, I don't think it's a big secret, but you just get some grease in your hand, and you nibble at it with the edge of the bearing, you can see it's purging the old crap out the top while packing in the new stuff on the bottom. And uh, it works out pretty slick. Gets all the old crap out of it, that's for sure. So that's what I'm doing on this wheel. And that's why in an earlier video when I was looking and like none of the wheels on this uh, Hustler are Zerk greased wheels. They're all bearing, straight bearing without uh, Zerks. I suppose I could put in uh, those caps to convert them to Zert, Zert fittings. I can see it's, I'm starting to get purple grease out the top, so that means um, purging out all this old crappy grease. Well, I can't call it crappy. It's been serving its purpose. But you can see where it's just purging the black crap out the top there. is messy kind of a poor man's way of uh, getting the grease injected into the bearings now that you've gone away. should have had the uh, gloves on rubber gloves for that but I just wanted to get it done so I started with that that's the way that goes sometimes it's just the way it goes sometimes All right. This blue stuff is uh, really tacky. So I got the tire on.
Got another Zerk down here. Got that. The front one zerked. Got these four blades zerked. I didn't. I didn't do the front depth. That's a pain in the ass, and I'm not mowing tonight anyway, cause I gotta fix that cable. So, just figured while I was at it, might as well hit them. All right. All right. That is accomplished. I gotta put some stuff away in here. I didn't get to it the other night. I was pretty whooped. Gotta clean these tools up. Some of them, the ones I used. Okay, so now, it's Liz mode yesterday. But when she mows, she never cleans up the sidewalk. So I'm going to go uh, vacuum the sidewalk. And if I have time, if I have time, I might add, I uh, to make this new cable. There's a Zerk up there on that drive shaft. So I got it. But see, every one of these tires is a uh, bearing. So maybe I can see about getting a... Uh, those uh, Zerk fitting caps and some of these tires are in bad shape they're gonna let go but I got a, I got a couple more I should have taken that one in too but I didn't got these Zerks change these blades out so these are all good blades Man, what a pain in the ass yesterday with this purge in the soil that started the day before yesterday. That thing's already got a big wallop in it. Son of a bitch. See it right there. Doesn't take much, man. Especially like when you're not in true in a true yard like mowing back there, you know, it's Oh, I gotta I've got to tighten that uh, that guy up. Glad I thought of it. All right, I'm gonna tighten that up, go vacuum and see about making another cable. This is what I gotta get vacuumed. It's, it's a pain in the ass. It's, and it rained last night, so it's probably already s stuck a bit, but you can see anyway. Garden's looking good. Beans are growing up the vines, tomatoes are growing, everything's doing well. All right. All right. I think I'm going to use the hand vacuum. I'm going to use the uh, shred vac. Echo, what is it? ES. 20 2110 or uh 210 yeah works well had it for quite a while now 
All right, let me get vacuuming here. All right, so tidied it up. Like I said, some of the stuff is stuck, but got it away. Back to how it should be. All right, Let's see if I can't start on this cable again. <sighs> this stuff gets old. I don't know. Got that uh, new tire on. I think I'm going to, I don't know if I have enough of these pins, but uh, I'm going to take a look and use pins on here instead of these stupid bolts. This is, I've said it before, this is the most stupidest archaic system I've ever seen. It's crazy. It's messy is what it is. It sticks out. That contraption's got shit going so many different directions, bars, cables, springs wheels it's hard as shit to work on so fortunately it's pretty reliable except when i do shit that makes it not reliable the only thing that happened with it that was really at fault of it was that cable snapping and uh anyway let me uh get my cable stuff down here this is my box of cable stuff so here are those eighth inch, God bless it. Okay, eighth inch. That held. What didn't hold were those, the suede's, the stop ends, these right here. Those didn't hold. Here's the cable. Cutter. Come on. That's what I mean, man. Shit one handed. I had this crap tape on here. Seriously. Alright, so making another cable. Alrighty, back to this thing. And if you recall, this is a son of a gun. So I'm going to get myself prepared for this. Drill the hole so that doesn't come flying out on me again. Started thinking if I if I should have used that synthetic, the 540 in that Kubota, um, the mobile one. I use it in all, my, you know, I use it in pretty much everything, but they're bigger diesels. So I don't know if that was a, a good maneuver or not. I guess we'll find out. I'll put some. Doesn't look like much, but that other one held. Man, it's a son of a bitch though to crimp that. Right on. So that's done. Now, that end. Now we gotta do this end.
three stop ends. Alright, so I weaved my cable up around the pulley through there. Now, the trick is let me uh, let me set that back first. Set the pin in the back. Alright. So now, let's see about getting it onto this thing. Close this time. I think the last time I made it just right on. There we go. Right on. All right, folks. I think we're back in business. Let's give it a try. See what happens here. New wheel, tire, I should say new tire, not a wheel, same wheel.
Right on. All right. Well, that's a wrap, my fine feathered friends.